Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm just checking out some heat exchangers while doing some heat maintenances. And let's see what I can find. It's always good to check these heat exchangers because you want to make sure that they're in good condition. There's no holes in them. You don't have to worry about any rollout. Maybe right there. Maybe what I found. But it actually doesn't go through. Looks like it's about to give. It will give. It's not this year, next year. That one's about to give. No? Really? Come on, that should push right through. Go through like butter. No. No. Look at this. Surprising. Exchanger number two. Push the hole here, push the hole here, probably the there. Right there, no. Right there, this thing's toast. No. Yes. Yes. Gone. Toast. Gotta write this thing up. Their heat is done. But surprisingly, the bottom was okay. Nothing down there. We all know that heat maintenance can be boring at times. It's okay. Make the best of it. Poke some holes in your heat exchanger. Pop, 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 pop. Look, you don't even have to try. I'm, I'm going to say, if you've got 10 units on a roof, you may find one, you may find two. Just be careful, because you don't want to poke holes in all 10. But you can see in that video. The first one, I actually thought the screwdriver was going through on that first unit that I checked. It didn't. That second unit I checked, it just slid through. I mean, I didn't even start recording when I made the first two holes by accident. I, start, I forgot to record. So there was already one or two holes that I made before I started recording. But you just saw there was no pressure. That heat exchanger was paper thin. The reason why you want to check that way is because you leave a month down the road. That little bit of metal that was there is gone. You got flame roll out. It's tripping on. They got, it's a lot of constant nuisance. No heat calls. One of your coworkers goes out there, finds holes in the heat exchanger. Hey, your guy just said everything was okay you told them everything was okay how do they have a hole in their heat exchanger not even a month later just try to look and check because i know a lot of guys they change filters and belts sit down and relax nothing wrong with that sometimes just make sure you do all your work and you're not leaving anything for your coworkers to come back to because the worst thing is having a coworker on a saturday have to go like 
hundreds of miles away to that job to fix it. But till next time, I'm out.